On April 27, 1961, a new nation was born. Its name, Sierra Leone. In 1961, Sierra Leone became independent. Afterwards, between 1967 and 1968, three military coups corrupted the government. Civil war broke out between 1991 and 2001, during which 50,000 people were killed. UN peacekeepers ended the war and reinstalled the president, and also stabilized the politics of Sierra Leone. There are 16 different ethnic groups, such as Temni, Mendi, and Limba. The main religious beliefs of Sierra Leone are Islam and Christianity. The main language spoken is English. Sierra Leone has some of the worst living conditions in the world. The slums in Sierra Leone are more like places where, like, let's say a, 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 garbage, a garbage dump. That's what I would call it. Whites generally live in better conditions. 18 and 1,000 women die on childbirth, and a quarter of the children don't live past the age of five. The GDP is 580. 75% of women are illiterate, 52% of the country lives in poverty, and the average life expectancy is 45. Sierra Leone has a democratic republic, like the U.S. It is a multi-party system and is divided into states. A rebel force, that is one force children, are attempting to get diamonds, as well as neighboring countries who arm the rebels to get diamonds as well. Three point five million people die from water related diseases, three fourths of which are children. When people use desert water, they are always affected by cholera, malaria, diarrhea, and it even goes to typhoid. Our plan is to split up the billion dollars between three separate projects. 499 million will be spent on building wells. These easy to build wells will be given to villages and their people will be taught how to install them themselves, therefore creating jobs and a clean water source. Five million will be spent on building compostable toilets that only cost $100. The remaining million will go towards the construction of a rehabilitation center for helping children soldiers.